Hello, so today's goal is actually, I'm, I'm now finishing with the living room because I finished the kitchen. I finished my bedroom. And now today my main goal is to basically make that wall there an accent wall featuring some paneling. Can you believe it? I did a lot of math the other day. It took quite a lot of my degree using cosines and sines and tangents and whatnot just to find the ideal angles and whatnot to get my chevron herringbone pattern to be perfect. Instead, I'm using a 30 degree angle. I'm using this, which is a really cheap tool called a speed square, which basically acts as a protractor for wood. Very useful. I had to watch a couple videos on how to use it. I know how to use a protractor, but the one on this, so much more useful for wood. It's, it's a, it, quite brilliant in the way that it works. All I have to do is pivot this way until this lines up to 30. And now that is a 30 degree line. How convenient. Use the pencil, draw it out. I have to basically cut so many of these boards that I bought into 30 or 60 degree angles to make sure that they line up exactly. And then I caulk them, sand them, blah, 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 blah. Without further ado, uh, I'll just uh, quickly go through this one. down 28 to go as you can see i have begun to put the slats on the wall and look at this i am so proud look at this boy i just cut this and he he fits perfectly oh my god a little bit a little bit i never used this right i hate the divot i wish it didn't have that stupid divot but it's got the divot yeah, that's fine. All right. It's more than time. Speed square there, keeps it at a 90 degree angle. Uh, line that up. There. Perfect. Hello, I'm Shirtless DIY Man. That's my channel now. We've done this. So now basically the difficult part for the bedroom is done, but now it's actually the really difficult part with the math and the angles. Now, I'm really proud of myself because all of the like geometry and like trigonometric functions that I remembered from all of my schooling has really helped me because I was able to basically measure right here. I don't know if you can see, let's zoom on in. So this right here is a 60 degree angle and that one is a 30 degree angle and they measure exactly mathematically as they should. This one is exactly uh, two times 50. So this is 50 and because it's uh, a 60 degree angle that means this is a hundred uh, and this one That one's just 57.75 so easy essentially I need the 60 degree angle for the bottom ones because they're actually going to be hitting the x-axis Whereas the 30 degrees is for the y-axis ones Is that an ice cream truck? Okay, so as you can see my first cut is amazing. Can you believe it's cut so perfectly? That's not, I, I just slotted it in, but it only works really well in here. It, it's measured exactly mathematically correctly, so that's nice to know, but over here it doesn't quite fit. So I, I've marked off that little, little notch right there, so let's see. On this one we are going up, so Let's see, put him up to the top there. And as you can see, what, 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 what the, what the f Yes, shirtless Evan is back. I have managed to do the top four. I'm very proud of myself. We're getting sunset vibes, golden hour right now. So if anyone else is attempting this, I know I've not showed this process as much as the previous one. This has been really difficult because I don't have a miter saw. And if you're unaware, a miter saw allows you to do very specific angles easily to cut wood. So I've been having to hand draw every single one. And the issue I've run into is mathematically, it's perfect. I've done such a good job mathematically, but practically there are gonna be little things that are different. For instance, um, when I measured out mathematically, it kind of worked for almost all of them, but this one. And so the way I got around this is that I had the, I'll do, hold on, I'll wait for, pause for plane. So basically how I got around this problem was for this one, I made sure to cut the 30 degree angle first. And then rather than just measure it and cut the 30 degree angle, I put it flush against the wall right there and then laid it out and drew a straight line at exactly where it should be. Worked 
I now have multiple ones, twos, threes, and fours. Good to go. I am so excited, and I can't believe I still have to caulk every single crack, sand them all, and then I can finally paint. Great. We've got such a beautiful golden hour right now. Natural light coming in to my house makes me so friggin' happy. I've been working all day on this, and the fact that it's finally, like, working makes me so happy. Just real happy, basically, you know? Things are, things are nice. I know I've said it before, but I'm never not gonna appreciate this place. I know it's, like, I have such a thing for Chiswick, and I lived there for so long, and I loved it so much. And I, But I'm trying really hard to also view where I live right now just as lovely, and I have such a crazy good view of the sunset each and every day in the summer. So like, I need to appreciate that and I'm going to. So I actually look at the sunset every day. I take the time, as soon as it happens, I go sit on my balcony and I just look. I just look at it, I look at the sky. I try and look at it as much as I can. In the meantime, look at that. Ta-da. We are now, what, four, six? We're, we're six done. There's 10 more to go. Nice. I wanted to play some Horizon Forbidden West this evening, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hook everything back up. Just, I don't have the time to caulk and sand today, do I? Do I? So the question has to be asked, do you guys like my caulk? How is it? I think I'm caulking really well here. So far I've caulked the entire bottom half of my thing. It is, it is the least, my least favorite of all the steps. It's so time consuming and it, it actually does hurt somewhat. When you're using a wet finger, you're gonna get little splinters every once in a while, no matter how well you sand it. It is wood you're rubbing up against, you know? I did listen to uh, one of you lovely commenters who was like, your finger will slide better if you add soap to the water. So I've done this. My finger does slide better, thank you for the tip. I'm at 50% complete at this point, so like, uh, so much more to do. And then, it, interestingly, the, the caulk says that you don't have to sand, it says no sanding required but maybe that's for professionals. As you can see, I don't have the smallest bead in the world. I'm gonna need to sand all this. I love my house, I love my house, I love my house so much. I love to paint it, make it my own. There's paint on my glasses. <laughs> it took me and Heather at least an hour and a half to put this up on the wall. Oh God, come on. Okay. And I now need to find a friend to help me put it back up. <laughs> oh God, I think this is like, not too hip. There we go, there we go. The last wall to be painted in my entire living room slash dining room is this one right here. It definitely needs a painting. You can tell how long it took us to put the mirror up. Do not fall. If you fall, that's bad luck, okay? I'm counting on you, bubbly. Oh, well, it's another 10 p.m. full day day. <laughs> it was back to back, right? We, we had quite a busy one. However, in exchange for all of the crazy amount of work I've done, it's done. You know, work's done, job's a, a done and good and done and I don't know. But I'm very happy about the whole place at this point. Living room, uh, as soon as I finish the trim, is done. That's it. I got the accent wall, I got the walls, the ceiling. I'm, I'm so, I can't believe it. I, I cannot believe it. It's, uh, it's, it's been a thing. I had the idea in my head to do it and then it was such a monumental idea. It just, it, there was so many things involved. But here we are, home stretch. In terms of the whole house, all I've got left to do is my studio. So I'm very happy, very excited. Gonna, honestly, before even thinking about <laughs> anything else, I just wanna take this as an, a, like, a, I just wanna congratulate myself on that, you know? Little victories there. The bedroom, as soon as that finished, I was like blown away and I was like, oh my God, okay, I did it. All I needed was that little bit of confidence from like that one. And then I just decided, woo, okay, all the kitchen, okay, all the living room, here we go. Oh God, I am so exhausted. Oh, beautiful sunset though, beautiful, beautiful sunset.
Oh, I am just so incredibly happy with how this turned out. Like, it's just so beautiful. It was definitely worth all of the effort that went into it. Uh, if you are looking for an honestly not that difficult DIY project, I can't recommend it highly enough. This is the second one I've done so far, and yet, wow, I feel like I'm addicted to paneling. I love this design, the chevron pattern, especially with the TV lights behind the TV. Definitely, especially at night, starts lighting up in different colors and shadows. It looks so nice. Also, by the way, I did finally get my Hillary's blinds in. So not only do I have these perfect fit Venetians, but I've also got some smart roller blinds. So currently, I have them set like this so that I'm able to have them be a nice tiered look so it draws your eye around the room with a really nice, as you can see, design there with the wiggles, the little wiggles are meant to basically be very similar to this pillow I have and very similar to this one, while also having vertical stripes, which goes along with this pattern here, this pattern here, and as you can see, I've got the stripes going up. So living room, <laughs> as I zoom in, is done. I'm, I'm so freaking happy. Moving on with my life. Oh, also one really cool thing I wanted to show you with these Venetian blinds, they actually have tiny pinholes. So even if you fully close them, so you have privacy, you can still see out. So you can just roughly make out what's going on over there. And what's lovely about this is especially at night, the lighting gets so, so, so cool. I think these ones are called Reflecta. I'll put a link in the description to those. Subscribe if you'd like. Got more DIY stuff coming up until I finish. Hopefully some travel stuff in the future. And I guess, I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.